Hi there, welcome to my kitchen. We're gonna cook you breakfast today. We're gonna do it three different ways. I'm gonna cook a vegan brunch kind of breakfast. I'm gonna make a nutrients packed smoothie. And I'm going to make a three minute, three ingredient avocado toast. Whoa. Let's oh, do yeah. it. Let's go. Hello. Um, I'm gonna be making my favorite smoothie. I like to drink half of it before working out and half of it after, because it's just filled with literally like every single good thing you can put in your body. So I'm gonna show you how to make it step by step. So I'm gonna start with my frozen banana. And I like to freeze bananas before because it makes it, ah, makes it much creamier uh, and a better texture than using ice cubes. And now I'm gonna put in four uh, frozen strawberries. Now, I'm gonna take a handful or a cup of spinach and just kind of like get it in there and try and fit it all. Spinach is like my go-to green for smoothies because you don't taste it at all. I feel like with kale sometimes you can kind of taste it. Um, and spinach is obviously extremely healthy for you and why not throw it in the smoothie? So, I like to put a quarter of avocado. A lot of people think this is weird or gross. I do not because it makes smoothies super creamy and it adds some healthy fats and you don't taste the avocado itself. I can get it out of the peel. Okay. Now I'm gonna put all the weird shit and healthy shit in that I like to load up on. I do a teaspoon of chia seed. Uh, you can do kind of as much as you want. I don't like putting too many because it kind of fucks with the texture. One teaspoon. Uh, these bad boys are filled with lots of omega-3s and fiber. And it's a really great thing to kind of have in the beginning of your day and start of your day because fiber throughout your day is just very important. Then I'm gonna take my cacao and I use cacao in almost every smoothie because it just tastes so good and it's actually super high in antioxidants and magnesium and iron and it's really really good for you and it tastes like chocolate so i do a tablespoon of that get my maca this is also great for the morning or uh, i always have it in my smoothies before working out because it really energizes you. So I do a teaspoon of that. And it tastes so good with cacao. It makes it super nutty. <laughs> nutty. <laughs> and I use a lot of these uh, like powders and seeds and things like that instead of um, protein powder. I don't like the way that protein powder tastes. And uh, a lot of them have like weird stuff in them that are like snuck into it. So I use things that I know like almond butter uh, is really high in protein. My next ingredient, hemp seeds, very high in protein. We'll do a teaspoon of these. Also, this stuff, a lot of it's from Trader Joe's and they're a really great option because I know a lot of these things that I'm putting in like like this company is kind of expensive. Trader Joe's, I want to say their chia seeds and hemp seeds and all of that is all around, I want to say like under $3 something. I don't know. It's a lot cheaper than you'd find at like Whole Foods or Sprouts or somewhere. Next, I'm going to put in these bad boys, which I don't always do, but it's really great for your skin and for nails and hair and all of that this is not vegan so if you're vegan don't have this Go a little shimmy now i'm gonna do a teaspoon of bee pollen this helps you not get sick it tastes really bitter so i wouldn't do more than a teaspoon for sure next i'm going to get my yogurt and this one is great because it has a bunch of probiotics, really important for your digestion, 
and it's really tangy on its own um but in a smoothie like the texture is amazing and the taste is amazing okay this is like i think a tablespoon it's kind of a screwed up one but i'm just gonna guess and say this is about a tablespoon oh it just slides slides right off okay i'm gonna do a tablespoon of almond butter i eat almond butter throughout the entire day i am this is my favorite almond butter it's the trader joe's raw crunchy one and it seriously adds the best texture to smoothies gives it a little crunch and it just tastes so good and i just love it and i seriously could eat an entire jar oh my god this probably looks disgusting hold on i'm gonna get a napkin <laughs> now i'm gonna take my goji berries and i like these for texture too i don't put that much i just like sprinkle some in there i also like the flavor of them same thing with cow nibs. Give a little bit of crunch, a little extra chocolatey goodness. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay. I usually do between like a cup and a cup and a half of almond milk or whatever nut milk. Sometimes I'll do macadamia or coconut milk, but that's kind of heavier and higher in fat. I like using almond milk in smoothies before exercising because it's a lot lighter, I think, and it feels a lot lighter than coconut milk. <laughs> now I get to use my fancy schmancy graduation present blender. And this is just a single serving. This is just for one person. So I'm gonna press smoothie. It's gonna get really loud. If you don't have a fancy schmancy ninja blender, just blend until creamy and your desired texture. Right now, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to add more almond milk. Whoa. So I'm just gonna check and see. Oh wait, it's pretty damn. I think we're good. So I'm just gonna blend it up a tiny bit longer, get all those pieces of spinach. And yeah, and we have the world's best smoothie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Voila, here is my smoothie. Um, a quick thing also, if you don't have all of these crazy weird items, uh, you can also just make a simplified version, frozen banana, frozen strawberry, handful of spinach and some almond milk, add some almond butter or peanut butter, whatever. You're welcome, people. This is so good. I, yeah.